to find the heart disease genes, to find the MS genes, to find the fat genes, to find the aging genes. Everybody's been looking. There's been some great discoveries. There's a lot more to come. Okay? A year ago, New Skin's Chief Scientific Officer, Joe Chang, called all of us top leaders in a room at an event we were at, and he made a stunning announcement. I couldn't even believe it. I seriously could not believe it. I had the hardest time with what he told us that day, but he stood up there and he said, we want to tell you something that we've been working on for the last six years. He said, we've been looking for the sources that cause aging in the first place, and we have found them. We have found the genes that regulate and control the human aging process. I mean, I was like, I was stunned. I was floored. I thought, what? I really seriously could not believe what he was saying. I was actually really skeptical about what he was saying. It was just too hard. It was too big. It was too hard to fathom what he was saying. And they've done it, folks. It's like this. Today, there's these chips. I don't know if you know, you can get integrated circuits, like little silicon chips, that are gene chips. You can lay strands of DNA in them, and you can actually decode them really fast now. You don't have to go do the old wet chemistry ways of trying to do genomics research. It's like boom, 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 really fast now you can identify these things. New Scan identified certain youth gene clusters. What they learned is it's not one gene. It's clusters of genes. And they're in different places on the DNA in different organs in your body. And what they found out is when you're young, these things act in a certain way. But when you get to middle age, it's like somebody turned down the dimmer switch. They don't work the same way anymore. And what New Skin has developed are proprietary compounds that are patented. We now have 14 patents, either issued or pending, on age lock technology. We're filing more patents every month. We are so far ahead of our competitors, it's not even funny. We can turn them back on. We can make them act like they did when you were young. And the effect of that is that we are able to reverse the appearance of your age. Can anybody do that? This is remarkable. So look at this. This lady lives in Dallas, Texas. This is the untreated site, no age lock. This is age lock after 90 days. I want you to look at her neck. Look at her neck. Look at her jowls right here <coughs> on the corners of her mouth. I mean, you tell me. You know, if you want to kill the lights, you can see it really good in this room, okay? I'm just telling you right now, you tell me. Is she five years younger looking? Is she ten years younger looking? I don't know, but she's definitely younger looking. And that's just 90 days. <coughs> If you folks want to really understand what I'm saying here, go get your Time Magazine issue about 10 weeks ago. Right on the cover, it talked about something called the epigenome. Have you ever heard that word before? The epigenome? What's the epigenome? The epigenome is how your DNA expresses itself in your tissue. That's how the changes that You guys have watched enough CSI crime shows, right, to know that DNA is almost indestructible. Don't you know that? They go back 20 years and figure the criminal because the DNA is still intact, right? It's hard to destroy DNA. It's tough stuff. So how do you change it? You know, we stand here and tell you guys, oh, yeah, we can change your DNA, right? No, we don't. We don't change your DNA. We change the expression of your DNA. And that's done through the epigenome. See, I'm telling you people words tonight you've never even heard before. We are so far ahead of everybody on this. Trust me. Go do a little bit of digging. Go do a little Googling, okay? Start reading a little bit. You'll be blown away when you really understand what we've done. Our partners, Stanford University, Purdue University, <laughs> University of Wisconsin, with a guy named Richard Windrick. You know, write that name down, okay? If you guys ever see 60 Minutes, Richard Windrick from the University of Wisconsin was interviewed by Mike Wallace on 60 Minutes a year ago about their breakthrough anti-aging discoveries at the University of Wisconsin. Those guys are our partners. That's who we're talking about. Go Google it and watch it. It's for real. This isn't a joke. This is some stupid juice company. Okay? This is for real. This is real stuff. All right, look at this. 
This lady's in Paris, France. Now, you can't read the captions underneath, but it says right here, after using galvanic spa for six months. So we don't know what she looked like over here, but we know it was worse, right? <laughs> because she's been using galvanic now for six months over here. And all she did then was add age lock for, for uh, two times a week for six weeks. Look right here. Look at the wrinkles. They're gone on this side. Look right between her eyes. How much younger is she? Five years? I mean, the whole texture of her skin was different. When you read Time Magazine, you'll find out your epigenome cycles every 21 days. So she's only been through three cycles, right? In six weeks? That's only three cycles. I can't wait to see what happens when people go through 20 cycles. Because it keeps changing the expression. It gets better and better as time goes on. This lady is in Seattle, Washington. Before age lock, seven days of age lock, six weeks of age lock. And here's her new picture now after six months. I mean, she changed a lot there, but look at that. Wow. That's after six months. That's about 10 cycles of the epigenome right there. I mean, look around her mouth. Look around her eyes. Is she 10 years younger? Ladies and gentlemen, let's just point this out for a minute here. Have you ever run across a company that can reverse the appearance of your age? I don't think you have. Does anybody have any idea how big this could get? You know, people have been looking for this for a while. We got it. Okay, we're moving to point number three. We're going to talk about partnerships quickly. I know I'm going too long. I apologize. I'm going to end it. Okay? We're just going to get it done. We don't want to stay here all night. I think you get it. You know, I'm, I'm like beating the dead horse, I think. Okay. <clears throat> Great company. Look at this. 25 years in business. Why is that important? Why would that be important to you? Why would you want to be on a ground floor startup network marketing company? Yeah. Have you ever tried that before? It's called brain damage. It's called, you know, sure bankruptcy. Sure failure. Really, really tough. Why did I wait until New Skin was five years old before I got serious about it? Because I've been in two startups that already went back there. I wouldn't even join a company unless it's five years old. Wouldn't even think about it. They don't even know if they can pay their compensation plan until they're five years old. They're hoping they can, but they don't know, and that's too risky for you. 25 year track record. We've done it. We've proven it. This company knows how to operate. Done in Bradstreet, 5A1 rating, the highest rating you can get. We maintain that rating for 17 years in a row. No wonder Forbes magazine three weeks ago said New Skin is number six most trustworthy public company on the New York Stock Exchange. Most transparent, you know, trustworthy. You can believe us, you can trust us. For operating in 48 countries. Is it important to have a global business? Well, if you're in Australia and there's 21 or 22 million people, then I would think so. I mean, you know, you guys have built nice businesses here, no question, but this is a melting pot. You guys have a unique opportunity here to build your business here and watch it spread globally from right here. And you can chase it anywhere it goes because we're doing business in 48 countries. Is it important to have that kind of diversification? Would you like to have an income stream that comes from 48 countries? I do. I've been doing this now for 21 years. I get paid out of every country New Skin's in every month. The sun never sets on my business. I feel like the British Empire. <laughs> Asia goes to sleep, Europe wakes up, and they crank. Europe goes to sleep, America wakes up, and they crank. America goes to sleep, Asia wakes up, and they crank. And I just make money 24 hours a day. I can go on my volumes and genealogy and watch real time. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. It's just like, oh. It is awesome. <laughs> What if you spent your whole life, 30, 40 years, building a business? And you had the horrible misfortune that you built that business on Main Street in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. What business would you have right now? It would be gone, destroyed. <clears throat> How would you like to have a business, ladies and gentlemen, that no earthquake can knock down, that no fire can burn, that no flood can take out, 
you know, no mud slime can cover. How would you like to have a business that really isn't anywhere? It's just in the cloud. It's just in the network. It's just everywhere. How would you like to have a business like that that nobody could destroy? No natural disaster can break down. That'd be a pretty cool business, wouldn't it? That's what we have. 600 million in assets, like what? Like warehouses, strategically placed around the globe so any customer you have anywhere in the world can get their product within seven days. Now, you know, that sounds like basic, right? If you're going to have a business, you have to get products for people to be successful, right? But it's a lot harder than it sounds when it's a global distribution. They've already got it all done. You don't have to do that. How about 150 million in IT infrastructure? So that you can get paid on the 20th day of the following month on your worldwide volume. Millions of orders, millions of bottles, and they can track every one of them and commission you properly in your currency where you live. That's remarkable. New Skin has currency traders that sit on the eighth floor of that building right there in Provo, Utah, and they hedge currencies between markets so they can be insured that they don't get caught short and they can pay you your commissions, no matter where the volumes are heavy and flowing, globally. Nobody does this stuff. The new skin does. 1.3 billion in sales, record year. 